On a recent visit to Charnwood Lodge uh, Nature Reserve, um, I collected a couple of bags of leaf litter with the permission uh, of the reserve manager uh, and I brought them home and sorted through them uh, looking for creatures that might be there at this time of year um, when uh, the leaves come off the trees and the weather gets harder um, lots of things tend to move around in the leaf litter and some of the most interesting things um, I found um, looked very much like the scorpions uh, you've just seen now, um, the good news is that they're not scorpions. There are a few species of scorpion uh, in Britain, mainly around ports, but these are in fact uh, pseudoscorpions. Uh, and using the um, aid gap key, um, there are about 30 British species, but I managed to identify these as um, Neobisium carcinoides. And this is one of the most common species of uh, pseudoscorpion. Um, it's also known as the moss pseudoscorpion, and there was certainly moss around in the leaf litter where I collected them. So the good news is uh, that these are completely harmless to uh, humans, um, uh, not to um, other small insects and creatures like springtails and mites and nematodes down in the leaf litter, um, and they are venomous. Um, uh, the, the, their venom glands are located in their um, in their claws or pulps, as they're properly called, um, rather than having a sting in the tail. Um, but um, they can't break human skin, and they're completely harmless to uh, to us, or indeed anything uh, much bigger than a mite. Um, so you can see here one of the claws, and these very long red claws are uh, characteristic of this species. And you can also see the sensory hairs. Although this species has got four eyes, um, in fact, um, its vision is very limited, like most soil organisms. Um, and um, it uses the sensory hairs, or trichobothria, um, in, the, uh, uh, in, in, in the pulp, in the claw, um, to sense its environment and uh, what's going on about it. So although there are no scorpions uh, in Leicestershire, uh, there are pseudoscorpions, and they're surprisingly common, and they're uh, very often uh, overlooked. So if you go out and have a look around in your leaf litter or in your garden, uh, you never know, you might find some.